Hey everybody, I'm sorry I'm in the dark. I was so relaxed. Please forgive me. I can't wait to get office set up and all this good stuff and just trying to get everything done and writing on another, finishing up a manuscript and it's just so much going on. But um, I hope I have enough lighting in here. Um, hey, LaDreen. Hey, girl. I'm so proud of you. Um, tonight we're going to talk about why did he treat me like this? What did I do to deserve this? And what can I do to prevent this from happening to me again? Well, for starters, lady, ladies, hello, Ephraim. Um, for starters, it's because of us that he treated us the way that he did. Because something in us allowed it to happen. We have to think about our self-esteem. Usually something that's happened to us when we were children that is still within us as adults. Hey, Queenie. Hey, Michael. It's something in us that allow certain things to take place. And when you think about it, the low self-esteem as an adult, not only are you in it, but everybody around you will be able to know that you have low self-esteem. But on the other hand, no person whether you have low esteem or not, should be allowing, be doing that to you. So for starters, we have to think about ourselves and why we have allowed someone to mistreat us. You don't deserve it. And that's why if you're in a relationship where it's not going well and you know you being mistreated, you have to leave and you shouldn't be fearful of being alone because if you love yourself, hey, Marcia, hi, Megan. If you love yourself, you don't want anyone around you who is treating you the way that you don't want to be treated. And there's a lot I want to share with you tonight. I did some research. Typically, this comes out of my head, but I wanted to give you information um, that's been written by doctors and so forth because I didn't want you to just take my word for it, but I live this stuff. I've, I've been through four marriages and they didn't go so well. And even though I don't think I had low self-esteem, I always felt confident about myself. But when I reflect on my relationships, hello, Timothy. Hello, Stanley. I have to say, I must have had low self-esteem to allow certain things to have happened to me. And so if I allowed those things to happen to me, something in me wasn't right because I knew better. And a lot of times we know better, but we don't act upon what we know. And when we don't act upon what we know, we continue to take it, receive abuse, neglect. Why should they stop? They have nothing in their surroundings that are giving them the impression that you don't need it, you don't like it. But if someone is mistreating you, cheating on you, hello, Antonio, that's my cousin, y'all. If somebody is, hey, Claude, hey, Claudie, Claude, I'm sorry, forgive me. If someone is in love with you, they will not mistreat you. So when you ask a man, why is he treating you this way after all you've done for him? The excuses might come up like, it's my upbringing. 
My dad did, did, did this to my mom, and that's why I'm doing it to you. I don't know any better. Um, it could be he's a drunkard. When he drinks or, or is or in, on drugs, he just gets abusive. He may tell you that. He may tell you he just loses control. And he may tell you, check this out, that you deserve it. He may tell you that you deserve to be treated the way that he's treating you. And when you hear this a lot, hello, Andre Lawrence. When you hear this a lot, hello, David. When you hear this a lot, you start believing it. And that's why it's important to not allow yourself to be mistreated. And ladies, we have a tendency to be so fearful of being alone. And there's so much out there in, the, in our lives that can make us so preoccupied that you don't even have the opportunity to realize the loneliness. So you have to ask yourself, would you rather be alone or would you rather be mistreated in the relationship that you're in if it's not well, going well and going positive? Going positive is he treats you well. You know, you should know the difference. If you're in my age group, you better know the difference. And if you don't know the difference, you really need to reevaluate what you're doing and with who you're doing it. Hello. Hello, Vincent. Um, check this out. What did I do to deserve this? Ladies, no one deserves abuse. No one deserves to be mistreated. No one deserves to be talked down to. No one deserves to be disrespected. You do not deserve that. So, if you're in a relationship like that, I recommend you do whatever you can to leave the relationship because, again, no one deserves that. And these are things that you need to watch out for. Violence, where, where you all are having a disagreement, he shoves you or he pushes you or he tells you to shut up. Um, if he tells you, thank you. If he tells you that you are not amount, you won't, you don't amount to anything. Um, wrong concept. Somebody told the man that this is how men treat their women. Like he, like you are, like you are, um, uh, what's Tarzan's, what's Tarzan's woman's name? I can't think. Cheetah. Yeah, you, you, you cheetah, I'm, I'm Tarzan. I'm supposed to treat you like this. Uh, you got to watch that. Hey, sweetheart, that's my nephew. You got to watch that. Um, they will make you very dependent on them. They will tell you, don't work. Let me bring home all the bacon. You got to watch that. Um, if you want to get out of that, let me tell you the first things you need to do. You need to, you need to pray. My, my cousin, hey, Amantha, my cousin's on the line, Amantha Barbie. She's a, she's a, she's a, a reverend. Um, hello, Annie, Renee. Um, oh, it's Jane. Thank you, Andre. Andre. It's Jane. You know, I'm, I'm, I am Tarzan, you Jane. You do what I say because I'm the man, you the woman. No, no. Don't allow anybody to control you like that. I don't care if you working at the dollar store or at the gas station. You make a living for yourself. Don't ever put yourself in a position where you are dependent on somebody else and you have to ask for $10 to put gas in a car that's not even yours. Or uh, to go to take the bus because you don't have a car. Please, ladies, we have to be independent. Do everything you can to make yourself a more independent woman. Because when you're an independent woman, you will get more respect out of a man. When you are independent, 
And I'm not saying you are living all, you're being a, you're a woman that's taking care of your children and he's got you in the house. Um, and this is your plan. This is what you wanted to do to raise your, I don't have anything against women that are at home. Stay home moms. I forgot what you call them. They're called stay home moms. Be careful. Be careful. Because I've seen a lot of my friends that are stay-at-home moms. Their husbands had another wife, I mean another girlfriend, who had a professional job. So be careful. Know what's going on. If this is the role you want to play, you be very careful in your life as well. And I know people are going to be mad at me. I know, especially people, stay home moms, because they're going to think I'm knocking them. I'm not knocking them. Most of them are educated. What I just recommend is that you have some money set aside just in case you have to do something else. And always, always, even in situations like that, be independent. Because if you don't, it will backfire. I'm here to tell you it will backfire. Um, pray. If you really want to get out of a bad situation, I'm here to tell you because I got out of one, I prayed. I prayed first. Seek help from people to understand. Don't worry about nobody knowing your business. This business, this business of this kind of stuff is going around all over the place. In churches, in in corporate corporations, um all over the world, somebody is being mistreated. And don't feel ashamed about it. Just do something about it. Don't tell your girlfriends he did this, he did that, he did this to me, he did that to me. Don't nobody care. They don't. And if you're saying the same things over and over again to the same people over and over again, change the record. Some of y'all young people don't know what a record is. Change the song. How about that? Change the tune. That's what you have to do. Hey, cousin. Hey, hey Drea. Change the tune. Um... You got to change the tune. Nobody wants to hear you complaining about how this man treated you time in, time out, and, and you haven't done anything to make a change. Be solution-oriented. If you don't like the way somebody's treating you, do something about it. But whining to your friends, hello, Eric, whining to your friends is not the solution because they're not there to help you. If anything, they're there to tell everybody else what you're going through. And if you want to stop it and grow and show your daughters, oh my God, ladies, you want to show your daughters that you are a conqueror, not a whiner, not someone that's defeated, not someone that has just given up, or not someone who has allowed someone to abuse them so much that they have given up on their, themselves. You don't want to be that person because that little girl is watching you. And your little man is watching that man abuse you. So you can have down the road... Young women calling you saying how your son has mistreated them. I wish my son, who is 35 years old, would put a hand on my daughter-in-law. I wish he would. He'd have to fight me for all night long because if I find out, I'm going over there to fight him and fight him and fight him. So it would be a rough time for him because I didn't raise him like that. You got to watch what you're doing out there. Because your babies are watching you. And you want to you wanna be the best that you can be. And if you have somebody talking down to you, what if the man is a stay-home husband? That's another night, Ronnie. Thank you very much. If you want to be... See, you done made me change. You done made me get off all of my... This stuff is coming out of the heart. I ain't even going by my notes. If you want to change... If you want your man to change, you got to change. Do you know you can't depend on nobody else to change? How dare you think 
You can sit there and tell somebody else, you need to do this. You need to do that. I wish you would do this for me. I wish you would do this. You do that. Um, um, you told me you was going to do that. The more you whine to a man, the more he tunes you out. So I suggest you start changing. And if he doesn't wake up, that means you're not supposed to be there, sister. You're not supposed to be there. You have to keep in mind you have little children who are watching you. Hey, you might have grown children. You might have children, period. You might have somebody else's children you're raising. Do you want them to treat you like that? Do you want them to watch you be treated like that? Because guess what? They will start disrespecting you if they see your man disrespecting you. And I'm talking about boyfriend. I'm talking about your partner. I'm talking about your husband. I'm talking about the guy who you know you ain't got no business being with. I'm talking about all of the above. All of the above. Um, do you know men can be so cruel? And brothers, I'm not talking about the good guys. This, this is to help my sisters. I've been helped and I want to help my sisters. And if you want to interject something to help our sisters, then you do so. But this is not to disrespect any good men. I have nights for good men and I talk about good men. I'm going to write a book about good men. So just bear with me and hang in there with me. I have a note here from my cousin. We should be raising adults. How do you want your kids to be in this world? Absolutely. Absolutely. We should be raising adults. Absolutely. We should not be raising adults. And, and, and a lot of times these men that are in our lives are little kids and our babies are seeing us taking care of these little kids. That's another night all by itself. We don't want to be lonely. So we tolerate so much. And then you want to ask why, why do you treat me like this? Why, 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 what did I do to deserve this? You let it happen. You allowed it to happen. You set yourself up to allow it to happen, sisters. That's what you did. And I'm not knocking you. I've been sort of there. I ain't been all the way there. Ain't nobody going to take me all the way in because I'm very smart. But guess what I want to tell you? You can be smart and be, uh, what's that word? Bon, bon, what's that word? Y'all help me out. Bon, but oh gosh, it started with a B. I can't think of that word. Bam, bomb, zoodle, bomb. Come on, y'all. Help me out with the word. But you don't want to be fooled. That's it's another word, but fooled is 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 the 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 the, the lowest level of that word. Um, you don't want to do that. So you gotta man up. You got a man up. If you want to change, bamboozled. Thank you, cousin. You don't want to be bamboozled. Thank you. See, the Barbies, they, they just got that radar thing. They just so smart. I just love them. Um, you don't want to go through that. And these booty calls. Let me tell you about these booty calls. Let me tell you. You know, I want to tell you something. Don't allow yourself to be a drive-by booty call. First of all, your body should be so precious. God gave you that body. God created you. And you gonna, oh, oh, my cousin has a word for that. Bambootied. Oh, wow, that's, ooh, ooh, that's worse than booty call. <laughs> thank you, yes, thank you, Stephen. Thank you, cousin. Um, You don't want to be that booty call. When they got you locked in to that 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock p.m. After they left their queen. Because these, these, these men got queens in their life. They going to go to the booty call. They hit you up from, from 10 p.m. You, they know your baby's in bed, hopefully. 10 to 10, 11, 12, 1. And then they're gone. They probably going back to the queen. And you wonder why he's treating you the way that he's treating you. You have allowed yourself 
to be disrespected. I'm going to tell you a story. Hey, cousin. Hey, Carl. Hey, Jackie. Um, I'm going to tell you a story. It is my life. I dated this, oh my gosh, six, eight. I don't even, Brian was his name. He ain't on no Facebook, so I'm going to give it to you. Um, 6'8", just the finest thing I ever seen in my life. I was dating him. And I clarified dating because I something told me we ain't going nowhere. We just going to be going out because we look good together. You know, sometimes we so immature, we, we focus on silly things, you know. And I was silly. To be thinking, oh, we look good together. Oh, this is going to be good. Everybody going to be looking at us when we walk up in there. Okay. Everywhere we went, that's exactly what happened. So he takes me to Dominican Republic. And we have a very good time. All the sisters out there in Dominican Republic, beautiful girls, look better than Halle Berry, y'all. I'm here to tell you. They were giving him... They were giving him, they didn't have no business cards. They didn't have regular paper because we were in sections over, oh gosh, what's the name of that place? Uh, Kunta something. Well, that's where we were, Punta Kunta, Ponta Kunta. That's where we were, but several areas of there, it's, it's just not undeveloped. That's where they lived. Them sisters was giving him numbers everywhere we went. I think they thought he was a professional ball player. And I'm not the jealous type, so they would come in the restaurant. There would be waiters, waitresses. And they look, wait, 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 he, oh, there he is, okay. I said, there he is over there, okay. They would go over there and give him his their little numbers. So he would come back to the table. Wow, all these women want me. I said, yeah, you go with your bad self. So, now, okay, the man was saying Mama Mia to me, and, you know, it's okay. I got you. I'm okay. But I don't need a man to tell me I look good because I look in the mirror. I take care of myself. My mind is right. My heart is right. So, when you got it like that, you don't need to hear no compliments because half the time, the man telling you that, no, you need to hear it because you got low self-esteem. And they're going to tell you that and fill your head up. And then they're going to come down on you and hurt you. Puna Conta, thank you. I just love my cousin. They're going to tear your mind up and tear your body up too with them booty calls. So let me get back to dude. So we come back to the States. And uh, he figured now he got me because he took me out of town, put, spent all that money on me, had, bought me all them pretty clothes and swimsuits. And, oh, we had a good time. So we get back home and I say, hey, look, I'm studying for my master's. As I told you, um, uh, it was a nice trip. I sent him a beautiful bouquet of flowers because I don't want nobody thinking I don't appreciate what they do for me. So I sent him a, a, a dozen of a dozen. No, it was a bouquet of beautiful flowers. I'd never seen an arrangement like that. And I spent like $160 on that bouquet because he was that kind of guy. And I wanted to give back what he gave to me the best I could. And he was so uh, flattered by that because nobody had ever given them flowers. See, I know, I know how to do this. So, and, and man, don't call, don't, don't text me on the side wanting a date. I, I've been there, done that. Please, you, you can't play a player. Okay, you can't play a player. All right, back to the subject. So he comes over the house to visit me, and he knocks on my door. No, no, I'm sorry, I miss y'all, mess making me mess up. He, I told him he had to come to the house by between eight and nine because at 10, I have to do nothing but study because I had an exam the next day. This brother going to come to my house at 10 and he knocks on the door. Dun, 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 dun. That's a cocky knock. I was so insulted. So, do you know Sister Girl did not even open the door? I talked to him through the closed door, and I said, what did I tell you? He said, but, 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 I said, I told you I had to study. Come on, I know I came all the way from D.C. and you in Maryland. I know you're not going to let me stay outside this door. He's a player, y'all. 
I said, you don't have to stand outside this door. You can go back to your car and go where the hell you came from. But you are leaving. Uh, I'm not letting you in my house. But you can stay out there all night for all I care. So the next day he called me after he left Pouton. And he said, this is over. I, I can't do a relationship like this. I said, okay. It was good seeing you. Nice knowing you. I'm sorry you took it that way, but uh, you know, I'm I'm a woman of my word. I have to study. I got to get my MBA. Okay, so I'm sorry. So, guess what? Four months later, hey, um, my daughter misses you. Um, I made a mistake. Um. We can't be without you. I really think we are the, we are an item. We need to be together. Dude, you think you are better than me. I can't put up with that. I already know how you're going to be. I would be a fool to take this relationship, to allow you and I to take this relationship to another level because I know what hell you will put me through as a mar as as being married. So I did not go any further with this man. My points to you women, no matter how fine they are, no matter how good they are, and you know what I mean, don't allow yourself to be disrespected. And have some standards. Raise your bar. If you don't have any, start getting some. Start writing down right now what you, what you, how you want to be treated. And how you feel when you're not treated that way. And start making changes in your life. And ask yourself, why have you allowed yourself to be put up, put, to be putting up with so much dissatisfaction in your life? Because if you continue to go in that pattern, this is the scary part. If you continue to allow the, the, the man in your life to mistreat you, when you do decide to dump him, if you, or he leaves you for somebody else because now he's bored with you, if you don't get it together, if you don't get it together and fix what's broken, you're going to meet another person just like him. And it's going to be a vicious, a vicious cycle. And you don't want to have a vicious cycle in your life, nothing but turmoil and disrespect. And, and, and please stop with the booty calls. Love yourself first. And if you're in my age group, and booty calls is, is you still into that? It's not going to take you anywhere. And if you one of them women that think your stuff is so good that it's going to last so good that dude is going to want to marry you, all sisters got good stuff. Come on. Don't, 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 don't be delusional. Just don't do that to yourself because they will never respect you. A booty call never turns into marriage. If it does, please, please send me an email. I am still a rose at gmail.com because I would like to hear your side of the booty calls. If they're different than what I am describing, I don't ever know that they go any further. They will continue to mistreat you and disrespect you. Um, I wanted to say some more things, just a few emotional, somebody putting you down makes you think you're crazy. Do you know I was with a sociopath for eight years? He was my husband. We must be careful not to try to fix what's broken in us by trying to fix him he is he isn't broken he is who he is yes that's right and if we spend our time trying to fix him who are we we ain't god we are not god we cannot lots of dis diseases going around here with some new shit okay thank you ronnie that's another subject uh but you know, you're right you're right it is 
y'all keep messing okay okay um what was i talking about i gotta i gotta get back on that see y'all don't mess me up oh emotional he puts you down he makes you think you're crazy i was with a sociopath for eight years and get, no don't be judging me let me tell you why i did it i we had a son together he lied about that told me he had a vasectomy my baby 12 years old that boy don't look like he ain't supposed to be here. He bigger than I am. He bigger than a lot of men. And he's 12. He in a nine and a half size shoe. Okay? I was told because I was so old when I had him that he was not going to survive. Praise praise God, he is surviving. He's a he's 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 all the way. All the way boy. I love him dearly. I'm I'm glad that he's here now. But that line man told me he couldn't have any kids. So and they'll make you think you're crazy. They play on your emotions. Y'all remember that song? I mean that that movie uh I can't think of the name of it. Come on help me out. Was it Friday? The first you playing with my emotions? They will play with your head. They will get all inside your head and mess you up so bad. That's why we got to stay in tune with our minds. We got to read, ladies. We got to exercise. We got to we gotta be smart. Read some books on relationships. Because if you're single and you're going out there and you get played, it's your fault. You can't play a player. And I want you all to learn the game, the rules of the game, because you're playing them whether you want to or not. You are a, a, a party in this, whether you want to or not, because the majority of them are playing games. Okay. 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 Cousin, I love you. Um, Hey, Crystal. All right. So you got to be cool about that. You got to watch that controlling money. We already talked about that. Um, you not having a job and he's got the job and he's controlling the money. All right. Sexual abuse. You doing things with your body that you don't want to do, but you're doing it to please him. Remember, it's a booty call. He ain't into you no way. And you allowing him to have you hanging from the ceiling when he not even your husband. And you hanging from the ceiling. And he's not even that into you. So don't allow yourself to be tr mistreated that way. Uh, the blame game. It's your fault he's the way he is. You, If you didn't do this, he wouldn't be doing that. Don't do that. Uh, making threats. I'll leave you. You know you can't do without me. You know you got three kids or you got six kids. Nobody going to want you. That's that's how they talk to you. And you're going to put up with the crap because you worry that he does leave you and nobody else. I got four kids and I ain't never had now three of them are grown, but I've never had a problem getting a man. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't care if you 200 pounds, 150. 10, 350, there's a man out here for you if that's what you want. But if you don't have your heart together and your mind together, you're going to keep getting into some more mess. So my, t my talk tonight is about getting out of, the uh, out of the mess, cleaning up your life, putting some demands in, in pers perspective with the person in your life, if they can't meet those demands, and I'm not talking about he better be six feet, he better have six figures, he better drive a Jaguar. I'm not talking about that, ladies. I'm talking about demands of respect, setting boundaries for yourself. And all women are beautiful. We got we can get the fake lashes, we can get the hair, we can get the new teeth, we can fix our nose. There's everything we can do to make I've seen some pictures of pe women on Facebook that have, have the faces look demolished. And they go put on some makeup and you think they're a beauty queen. You do what you have to do. 
You do what makes you happy first and foremost. Please do what you have to do to make you happy. And there are good men out there. They're dogs because I see them on Facebook. They trying to hit me up and they don't even know me. That's a dog. You don't, you don't disrespect women like that. I've had to get on a few. That's a dog. Roof, roof. Because women are supposed to be respected. Somebody asked me how I sleep. You don't know me, dude. Why do you care how I sleep? But that's how you start with the BS. So I was supposed to tell him, oh, I didn't sleep so good. I was up all night. I, mean, I, had, I was worried. My boyfriend made me mad and I broke up with him. That's the game. Next thing you know, oh, so you single. Oh, that's how the game starts. It's a game. I know, William, you are not all dogs. See, you, you missed the whole point. You know you got some friends that are dogs. I'm talking to the sisters to protect them from the dogs. If you're not a dog, it's okay to chime in and say, yeah, she's right. This is how you got to do it. I got a friend who did this. You don't have to say you're not a dog if you're not a dog. Because we all know if you know you're not, you're not. And that's all, that's, that's, that's all it is. But I'm here to talk to the ladies, to keep the ladies from going down that lane. And William, I appreciate you. Okay, you just logged in. And I just said, you must didn't come on early. I said eight o'clock. Y'all got to listen to me. Okay, you used to be one. Yes, I want to interview you on my radio show if you used to be one, because I need you to talk to the ladies about what not to do. And if you don't want your face on there, that's fine. But, okay, you don't lie. Okay, that's good. So think about that. Think about joining me because I want my goal in life, because of what I have been experiencing in my younger days, I don't want no sister in the world to go through that mess. And no, it wasn't somebody beating me down. And But I have seen that. I've seen that on Facebook where men have just 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 tore a woman's face apart i've reached out to her but she ain't ready to talk to me but nobody deserves that and if we don't watch how we treat ourselves that's what's gonna happen if we don't love ourselves why should somebody else love us be be high in your demands and not talking about the descriptive demands. I'm talking about boundaries. Be high on your boundaries. And don't let anybody step over those boundaries. Don't let anybody compromise your principles. None of them. So um, I could keep y'all all night, but I am not going to do that because I, I got material for the rest of the year. I will be, I want you all, please, if you can, kindly accept, a like me on I Am Still a Rose so that I can grow my uh, social media page. I am still a rose. I am still a rose. Ladies, you are still a rose. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You got it going on. You just got to demand more of yourself. Demand more of yourself and that's what you will get. And whatever you want in life. Somebody says, check out my post on why a man should not put their hand on women no matter what. I appreciate that. I sure will. Um, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, William. I appreciate you. Uh, Monica, thank you, sweetheart. That's, that's my baby cousin. Um, love yourself. Y'all have no idea how I am passionate about women loving themselves. I can, I can go to a nightclub cause I still like to dance. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I used to be drum majorette in high school. So, you know, I, I'm, I can still kick it. Um, and I, I like to dance. So I'm going there to dance and a, a brother dancing with me all night and he'll follow me out and say, oh, well, you going to give me your number? I'm like, give you my number for what? Well, I've been dancing with you all night. Um, okay. I appreciate that because you dance good. And when I dance, come back here, you're going to be back here next time. 
uh, no, I'm just trying to figure out why you didn't give me your number if I said, look, you didn't even, we didn't even, I could, I could see you cussing me out if you, I, you bought me two and three, four drinks, but I came here, got my own drink, went right to the dance floor, and now you want my phone number? He was delirious. He was so mad at me. I think he wanted to just scream. And I just kept, we had a debate out in the parking lot. Thank God my girlfriends were out there. But we got we to gotta have demands on ourselves. I'm supposed to give him my phone number. And then what else am I supposed to do as a result of dancing with me all night? He got, oh, it was a win-win. But he wanted more of the win. Then he want to talk to me all night. I'm just having fun, right? Thank you. And some Eunice said that's why I'm not married. No, sweetheart. Women, if they want to be let me tell you about marriage. Get yourself prepared for marriage. Work, yes, William. A lot of women out here work hard, take care of the kid, take care of a man who's yes. Yes. Who sleeps all day? Yes. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get our lives right first and then don't seek a husband. Husbands seek you. All right. Don't say you don't ever want to be married. Don't speak that into the, into the universe. Don't ever speak that into, because there might be some man right out there who, who's looking at you right now, who wants to be more involved in your life. But if you got some stuff in your heart that you haven't forgotten because of Joe Blow, let go of Joe Blow, throw his ass. I don't know who on here. Lord, I hope it's not my reverend. Throw his ass in the pond. Put a, th write his name on a rock, throw that bad boy as far in the lake as you can and say, be gone. So you can get yourself right to meet a man that could possibly turn into marriage. Don't ever say you don't want to be married. I've, I've done, done it four times and I'll never say I don't want to be married. I just don't want to be with no player. And I'm, I can take my time. I'm good because I'm good where I am today. I am good, I'm blessed, and I'm happy. And all that pain and sorrow I went through, it's over. It's over. I threw all that in the lake, and I prayed to God, get it out of me. Let it go. Let it go. And sisters, let go of all that hardship. William, you said I've been married three times. Okay, okay. We go down those roads. We make mistakes. At least you did it. Some men are scared to do it one time. You try three times. That's a big man for me. I like that. You tried it and you didn't give up and that's okay. And I appreciate that. And still you are a rose. You ladies are a rose. That's why I call my company, uh, I'm still a rose. In spite of all that drama, there, I mean, I've heard the worst. I have heard the worst being called to me. I've gone through a lot of crap, you know, lost my house, had to start over again, been called every name in the book, uh, been uh, character, been defamed, all kinds of stuff. I thought I was going to go crazy and I did go crazy. I'm going to put that out there before I close out. I did go crazy. For seven days, I had lost my mind. Seven days. So don't tell me I ain't been through some stuff. So, and you don't know what people are gone through. Let me, let me close out with this ladies. Okay. I hear you, Eunice, you protecting your heart. God protects your heart. You don't need to protect your heart. No, you, you need to release the pain in your heart. We don't want, I'm going to have another night angry back black, black sisters. And I'm going to have another one about why we are in pain. Okay. Cause we're going to release that pain. We got to, we got to release that pain. And I don't forgot what I was going to say now, but, um, shoot, I can't remember, but I'm going to tell you this, please remember this love on you. Love on you. 
Get your massages. Their massages, you can get a massage for $35, $40. Come on, y'all go to Starbucks. Stop going to Starbucks. Get your own coffee maker. They $20, $25. Good, good. Uh, I can't think of the name of that, but I got one downstairs. It's a cheap pot. Makes very, very hot coffee. Mr. Coffee. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Have that in your house. Stop going to Starbucks, save them dollars, and start pampering yourself. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. Get a weave if you don't have no hair. Or cut it all off if that's what you want to do. But look beautiful. Don't look how you feel. Look how you want to feel on the inside. And watch how your life just start, things just start picking up. Don't go to work looking frumpy. Go to work looking like a queen with your head held high. No matter what somebody told you just before you walked in that door. Leave that drama outside and come in correct. You'd be surprised what will happen to you. Uh, Nicole says, hey, Nicole, that's my G. Uh, hands designed by Lisa Johnson, one hour massage for $50, one hour. That's real good. Y'all get your massages, go for walks, ask and pray to God. Y'all know the best thing you can do. Go for a walk, go for a walk and look at the trees, look at the sky. Thank God for everything you see in your path and then start thanking him for things that you know he has done in your life. And when you show God gratitude, he going to give you another gift, another gift, another gift, and another gift. I got so much to share with y'all. I'm going to do it every, every Thursday at eight o'clock. Please go to, yes, William, you got to love yourself first. That's why I'm saying you got to get out. You got to take care of yourself. And don't forget what I said last week, ladies. You got to look in the mirror. And some of you men, too, look in the mirror till you cry. That's a form of healing. That's a form of healing. Because a lot of y'all ain't going to be able to do it because you, you have done so much damage to yourself. You scared to do it. I do it when I want to become humble again. When I know I'm I'm losing my hum humility and start getting fussy, I, I got to go back to that. And that reminds me of the pain that I've gone through and how grateful I am to God for being out of that pain and to moving on with my life. So I'm here to tell you, y'all can do it. Y'all can do it. Now, I don't want to hear no more. What did I do to deserve this? What can I do to prevent this from happening to me again? Because I've already told you what you can do to prevent this from happening again. Stop them booty calls. Love on yourself. Set up some boundaries and say no more. Okay? No more BSing. No more allowing anybody to BS you. And watch the magic. Watch the magic. Because once you start, thank you, Joseph. Once you start loving you, watch what happens. I listen to Mary J. Blige. <laughs> okay, no more drama. Yeah, but let me tell you about Sister Girl before I close. Y'all ain't going to let me close. Um, she going around in circles. Vicious cycles. Let me tell you where her mistake was. She still has low self-esteem. She can make $50 million a week. If your self-esteem ain't right, you're going to meet another Joe Blow who disrespects you, who knows you. he smells your unhappiness. He smells your pain. And he's going to come after you and do the same thing other, your, your husband did. She got to deal with that pain. Why sing the song if you ain't going to act the song? No more drama. If you really don't know want any more drama, you got to do something different to not have drama in your life. You got to do something different. That's right, William. Some people don't learn, but it's time to learn. Let's hope now we're going to do something different. But sister girl... 
needs to evaluate her life, what she's doing. She got the money. Go see a good, good shrink, somebody uh, African-American that's been down the roads who can help you heal. Don't go find another Joe Blow and you still broken. You're going to marry another Joe Blow who's going to take all your money. You don't, and you got to be evenly yoked. You just can't go out there and get a Joe Blow and think you're going to change him. And why are you going to be a millionaire and get somebody who can't afford to take care of you the way that you take care of you, and then he take all your money when you, you divorce? Come on, do the math. It ain't going to work out. And he resented her. She the one with all the money. He ain't no man. He, he ain't even making no money. He's, he needs her to be in order for him to get her, some money. He needs to work for her. Come on. That don't even make sense. Come on. Y'all, we got to get together. We got to do it right. Okay? I love you guys. I thank you for listening to me tonight. I know some of you mad. Yes, get a closer relationship with God, the Ten Commandments, and you will not keep. That's right, William. You will not keep making the same mistakes. And I'm here to tell you, that's what I had to do. Because if you read my book, The Little Girl Inside, Owning My Role in My Own Pain, that was my first book. The sequel to that is coming out in another month. Um, owning My Role in My Own Pain, y'all, that's, that's deep. You know what that means? I didn't say, he did this to me. He did that to me. And no, I said, wait a minute. I'm the common denominator here. What's up with that? What did I do to connect with these uh, low lives? Oh, and I had a whole list of stuff I did. Read the book. So I will see you all. I will see you all next Thursday, 8 o'clock. Um, uh, back in June, I will be at WBGR talking about relationships. And these brothers like William Aguilar, I love your name. No one can hurt you unless you keep letting them hurt you. You are I, you going to be on my talk show. You're going to be, I need to have you. Maybe you can help me open it up. But I, I would love to have brothers. Thank you, Renee. Good night, sweetheart. I would love to have brothers on the show to help women, to let them hear from you. Y'all got to wake up. Y'all got to stop being fools for these no good men. That's what I need y'all to say. Do like Michael, Michael Bayston. He tells it like it is. He wrote Why Men Cheat. That's how I knew my second husband was cheating. I read Michael Bayston. And you'd be surprised. I was turning the pages and I said, oh my God. Oh my gosh. He right downstairs. Oh my gosh. I could not believe it. Everything I read in the book, he was doing. Lord have mercy. But that's another, that's another subject. We ain't going to do that tonight. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support tonight. Please share it. If you know it can help a woman, don't share it if you think it won't. Um, it, maybe if it'll help a man too. And on the other side, please uh, check I Am Still a Rose and like it so that I can get that platform started and these sisters can really hear from me and we can make this thing work. Um, I need you to help me Make it work. We can't, It's a village. Take a village to get these women out of this. All right? I love you. I am still a rose in spite of all of this. Ladies, that's an affirmation for you. Men, take care of your ladies. Please take care of your ladies. Talk to them and see what's on their hearts. And until next time, I'll see you later. Good night.